In this episode of Common Sense in an Uncommon World, we look at California's COVID-19 case rates, which are now higher than Florida and Texas. So let us begin. California Governor Gavin Newsom likes to say, we cannot let California become Texas. Governor Newsom has gone out of his way to take verbal jabs at the Republican governors of both Florida and Texas for easing their COVID-19 restrictions. Yet here we are in November 2021, and the San Jose Mercury News is reporting that while the virus has gone quiet in the Deep South, states that abandoned mass orders, opposed vaccine mandates, and posted lower vaccination rates, California's COVID-19 case rate is now well above Texas and double Florida's. Ali H. McDodd, professor of health metric sciences at the University of Washington stated, California is now paying for its success. You succeeded in controlling the virus and now you're having infections. To explain this a little bit further, over the summer, the Delta variant ripped through the country, primarily infecting those who hadn't been vaccinated. But in California, with all the precautions and mandates, we saw a smaller wave of cases. And here's why it matters. Outbreaks burn out once the virus runs out of people without immunity to infect. And people can get immunity from both infection recovery and vaccines. Places like Texas and Florida, who saw high COVID-19 cases in the summer, are doing better because, with their combination of vaccination and infections, the virus has fewer people left to infect. So while these states remain open, Los Angeles is now requiring proof of vaccination at restaurants, bars, gyms, movie theaters, and other places. These similar indoor requirements can be found in the Bay Area, which begs the question, should we have been more like Florida and Texas?